I have negative four prescription. I think it's negative four diopters or something. It just gets really frustrating to do anything. Even using a computer screen, laptop, I have to I have to go in. It's here, you know, I have to look closer and it's just so I'm hoping that by doing some eye exercises I will overcome well I know that by doing these eye exercises I will overcome this minor inconvenience <laughs> and we'll be able to see and I'm excited to be able to see and not have to spend any more money in the future on on this expensive uh, glasses and contacts that end up just making your vision worse so you get forced to have to buy more always I'm excited to get out of that but I'm also excited because I'm completely out of contacts in Brazil here my glasses are broken all I have left is prescription sunglasses and um, upon finding out that one box of six contacts is a hundred reais here, it's just like I don't want to put out that much money for something that's just going to make my vision worse anyway. So if I can get this done, it'd be great. <laughs> um, one of the exercises involves this Tibetan wheel, which is pretty cool looking. You make a nice tattoo. Um, holding it like this, very close to your face, and then following with your um, eyes as you breathe in, going up, and then as you breathe out, going down, very slowly, as slow as you possibly can, and then doing it with this little small line, uh, all the way around, and then doing it counterclockwise as well. And what that does is it, um, it stretches the muscles around your eye, all the different muscles, because what what they say is the cause of, of bad vision is tension stored in your muscles um, that stretches out your lens, basically. Perfect vision is effortless, so you don't, you don't once, once you take out all the effort that you're, that you're programmed to have in there, kind of, on all the tension, then it's just done. Um, this is a really important one that's, it's like the basic, the most basic thing is you warm up your hands and then you put them over your eyes so that no light enters. And what this does is it um, is it completely relaxes your eyes. And um, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to visualize perfect blackness, which is something that people don't know what it looks like anymore. Um, normally, especially like for me, and I know because I, I know, <laughs> but like apparently for people, people that have eye problems, you'll see fuzziness and cloudiness and different things and um, that's not what you're supposed to see, you're supposed to see just perfect blackness. So what he says to do is visualize, is to have a, um, he had black velvet, but just something that is perfectly black, like perfect black, so that you can use that as an example and what you want to do is visualize perfect blackness kind of coming over and taking over that and then what it does, what the perfect blackness does on every breath is it just you breathe in and it relaxes uh, all the muscles, all the tension. And then uh, I'm going to do some stretches in my neck and stuff because, you know, tension stored everywhere and it's all connected. So just really, it's all about getting rid of the tension. I've been practicing maybe 10 minutes a day <laughs> or maybe 15 just that um, there was one day we, I didn't practice I don't think at all and I definitely noticed a lot of improvements like I was saying whenever I wake up especially I guess because all the tension is kind of out of me in a way 
when I'm sleeping. So when I wake up, I'll, I'll look around and everything will be clear for 30 seconds or a minute. And I'll be like, this is nice. And then it all fades away. So that it kind of like shows me in a way to, to keep trying. He said that if you had two diopters or less, a week usually is enough to get your eyes pretty much back to perfect sight. But since I'm at um, negative four, I'm thinking I'm going to be, you know, if I just stay with it for maybe a month, I'll at least probably have gotten to, to negative two, if not more, to two diopters. So that would be, ha you know, more than doubling my... That would be a that would be a big improvement, and I'm basically the goal is before I leave for India on the 18th of February, which today is the 15th of January. I I'm, that's my goal is is to be able to see <laughs> by then at least you know not having to worry about buying a pocket box of contacts or something here.